yeah so the way the lesson is going to work today uh, is we're going to do like I said we're going to run through the cockpit drill which are your rules and responsibilities every time you enter the car all right so we'll brief you on that following on from that we're going to talk about the controls of the car uh, where they're located how to operate them the words and the phrases associated with using them that's going to be the first hour uh, leading on from there second hour is then normally moving off and stopping that's why i requested we do a two hour lesson otherwise today i literally would have given you the theory and nothing else you get it so you would have walked away with just that whereas today i'm going to give you the theory and we're going to reinforce it with a practical all right so we'll start off with the cockpit drill so the cockpit drill itself breaks up into something called d triple s m okay so d is for doors every time you sit in the car you know how to open the door there's a handle pull the handle seat yourself inside and make sure you firmly shut the door there should be no interior lights on in the car at the same time maybe no display icon here showing you your doors are open you might have passengers in your car little kids so just make sure all the doors are firmly shut um at the same time in a couple of minutes when we do decide to swap seats make sure it's safe to open the door so so many accidents happen because people just fling their car doors open so look in your mirror quick glance over the shoulder just literally making sure there's nothing in your blind spot and then you can open the door yeah and when you are going to enter the road obviously to open the door on this side make sure it's safe there's no vehicles or um, kind of cyclists happy with that so that's the door out right the way uh, you've already told me you've done a little bit of TikTok viewing so you've got an idea in terms of your seat you've got three adjustments to the seat do you want to name me them what's the top here the head good and it's always got to be level with the top of your head yeah. how do you adjust it how do you adjust it there's like buttons at the bottom what you can do you can actually just push it straight up so you can push it straight up if you need to yeah. if you need to bring it down then you press the button on the side and then push it down appropriately yeah so that's it so that's the head restraint and obviously in the event of an accident especially a rear impact uh, if your head goes back that's going to be supported that's the idea of the head restraint next you've got the rake how do you adjust the rake so you've so you've got a handle on your side there a little dial sorry here yeah? little cog yeah and i've got one on my side so literally you just twist it forwards or twist it back the main thing is you should have full back support so if i hold my steering wheel here a quarter to three um i've got full back support and again like i said it's just good comfort and it will obviously reduce any injury and support you in the event of an accident That's right uh next we've got the base of the seat how do you adjust that how do you move the seat forwards uh, and backwards the lever at the bottom. good what you do is you hold your hand with it onto the steering wheel yeah so basically you can pull yourself forwards and then obviously you just pull the the, the bar up the, underneath the seat yeah. lift it and you just adjust yourself forwards or backwards like so how should the seat be adjusted though tell me what's your understanding it should be like be able to like reach the pedal well done so out of these three pedals a b c accelerator brake clutch which pedal do we do the test on because out of these three pedals one pedal presses in the furthest which one is it is it the gas good guess but no is it begins with c the clutch. <laughs> you've got it so it's the clutch so the clutch goes in all the way and all you do is the ball of your foot mm -hmm. so you just use the parts just slightly behind your toes you press the pedal down all the way yeah. and your leg should not be straight so your leg should be slightly bent and that gives you a good indication that you're able to reach the paddle if your legs dead straight that means you're having to reach too much at the same time if you fully press the clutch in and you and there's um you know you, as you release the clutch your knees knocking against the steering wheel it means you're too close are we happy with that so it's quite simple so i'll do a little demonstration i'm going to move too close and if you look at my knee can you see it's knocking against the wheel not comfortable i'll move myself back for me that's perfect slight bend at the same time i'm not digging too much into the seat now there is a fourth adjustment which um sometimes you do need if you're, if you're slightly short or maybe really tall you can adjust the height of the seat you've got a lever on the right hand side of the seat here and all you do is like a pump action so if i pump it down the seat will go down and if i pump it up the seat will go up all right the main thing is it's all about visibility in front of you you should have good visibility in front of you are you happy with that that's the seat out of the way so we've done door seat next to the steering wheel the steering wheel is a standard setting at the moment 
this is for a lot of people but again if you're extremely tall maybe short you may need to adjust it how do you adjust it you drop this latch yeah it's yeah. in a little latch you can drop that you can pull the steering wheel out like so if you're very tall or if you wanted to if you're relatively short you can actually push it down and leave it in the main thing is you're comfortable reaching the steering wheel so i'm just going to run my hands up and i'm going to run my hands down and i've, I've got good reach on the steering wheel can you see that at the same time at quarter to three there's a slight bend on my elbows i'm comfortable i can reach the dial i can read the dial sorry okay so that's the steering wheel i run my hands up and down comfortable with that so doors seat steering wheel the last thing is your seat belt the last s so whenever you do put the seat belt on please make sure there's no tangles um, at the same time um, you can always test it they're very reliable what you can do is you can lock your thumb in here straighten your fingers and you can just pull forwards so if you do that the seat seat belt should secure and stop all right when ejecting the seat belt please be sure to feed the seat belt back yourself that way you won't get trapped in it as you're coming out of the car okay, okay. so that's your seat belt it's a legal requirement yourself and children 14 years or younger are wearing their seat belt at all times yeah happy with that yeah. that's a seat belt the last thing is the mirrors please always adjust the mirrors on the last of your cockpit drill don't do it the first thing you sit in the car all right so what we do is we'll start off with the center mirror yeah so when you do adjust the mirror a couple of rules do not lean forwards to adjust it stay where you are are we happy with that so you're going to stay where you are try not to touch the glass itself because you're only going to smudge it with potentially your grease your you know your hands and stuff and that leaves a smear at night times so the best thing is use a dark kind of a frame to adjust it now how do we adjust it quite simple the top of the mirror needs to be level with the back of the windscreen which it is um, and it also it needs to be angled slightly towards you so the mirror should not be like this dead straight it should be angled what we call offside so you've got a good view in the middle of the road which I have and at the same time I can see my left ear and my left forehead and my eyelash All right so I can see that in the right portion of the mirror there so i know i've got good visibility behind me to adjust the left right mirrors we just use this little contraption here you slide the button to the left and we adjust accordingly and same for the right you slide all the way to the right and adjust accordingly now in terms of the mirrors the wing mirrors um when it comes to adjusting these you only want to literally be able to see if i say to you two fingers of our car the width of two fingers literally you see the, the, the mirror bends here yeah. we're looking at only a little bit of our car half the skyline so i should be able to see the horizon as long as there's no tall buildings behind us and a good view of the road are we happy with that same with your one i can see a little bit of our car yeah just where the mirror bends i can see a good view alongside the sidewalk if there's a pedestrian or anything any activity and i can see the skyline are we happy with that that pretty much draws a close to the cockpit drill okay so before we let you have a go because i know you've been waiting for this for a long time <laughs> many months yeah so let me just show you here so then you can have a quick go and i will whatsapp you this at the end of today all right just so you've got the idea there we go that's it it's quite straightforward to doors seat steering wheel seat belt mirrors any questions on any portion of that? No, that's fine. No, you okay with that, yeah? yeah? All right, super. Okay, so what I want you to do is we're gonna swap over and we're gonna let you have a go. Go for it. Make sure it's safe, all right? Do that check. Super. Thank you. So that's the door done. What was the first S? What do we agree with? The seat belt. No. You don't want to lock yourself in straight away. So, what do you want to adjust? Remember oh. the seat. Start off with the seat. What you're sitting with. Yeah. So press that button in, and if you could press that down, there we go. That's it. That is as low as it's going to go. So that's the head restraint there. Um, next, the rake of the seat. So, are you comfortable with your back support or would you like to turn that dial just to lean upright a bit more? Yeah. So, let's turn it forwards. Where is it? Should be right in the corner. There. The dial. Ah, that's the one. Super. Have a look if that's all right. 
Is that okay? Super. And now, obviously, you won't be able to reach the clutch all the way. So if you just hold the steering wheel with your left hand, pull yourself forwards. Good. Now, the way we're going to check it, what did we say? What was the pedal we were going to press to make sure we could? Good. All the way down. Super. Yeah? Yeah. Brilliant. Press that one more time for me. Use the ball of your foot, though. You're kind of placing the pedal in the middle of your foot. That's better. All the way down. All the way, all the way. That's still a bit of a reach, you know. Yeah. If I was you, moving a little bit more. Super. Yeah. That's better. Is that better? Yeah. Okay, super. And are you still happy with your rake? You're not leaning too far forwards. You happy with that? I think I'm big. That's going to be a bit too far. Have a look. Press the pedal. It's trial and error. Can you see that? It's yeah. a bit too much of a stretch. Come one click in. Here. Now try. Yeah, that's better. I'm saying that, you know, your rake here. Are you, ha you're not, you don't feel you're leaning too far forwards. You okay with that? A bit back. Okay, so just, just turn it. Turn the dial back one here. Have a look. That's cool. Better? Yeah. Super. So, door's done. Yeah. Seat is done. We're comfortable. You've pressed the clutch. Do not be afraid to do that several times just to check you're comfortable. And after that, what are you holding on to? The wheel. Steering wheel. So, if you just run your hands up run your hands down. Are you comfortable with that? Is this part here? The part part? Uh, but can, would you say you can reach it or is your elbows or something knocking? She's fine, it's my elbows knocking here and it's Okay, the so that, there might be a little bit of a problem with that because what you can, see if you can turn the dial back a bit more because that's the kind of lumbar support on the seat, yeah? That's yeah. it, here now have a look. Yeah, it's better. Is that better? 